Welcome back. It's been a while since we did the Hotevilles campaign. I do apologize for that, but here we are. Obviously been busy with Hidden Cup and everything, but we are back at it and we're gonna carry on with the, the Hotevilles as said. Bohemond in the east. Without further ado, let's go. Bohemond never forgave Count Roger for siding with his younger brother. But other events would draw Boyamond away before he could threaten Norman unity. As bands of knights and foot soldiers passed through Sicily on their way to the Holy Land, Roger arranged for Boyamond to linger amongst them. Lured by the promises of lands and eternal glory on crusade, Boyamond too set out for the east. Boyamond retraced the path through the Byzantine Empire that he had taken only a few years before while warring against the Emperor Alexios Komnenos. Now, however, he came to Constantinople as an honored guest, kneeling before his old adversary and promising to restore the Empire's territories in the Holy Land. Boyamond, of course, shared his father's cunning and had no intention of following through with such a promise. When the Crusaders besieged the ancient city of Antioch, Boyamond resolved that it should be his. Mustering the cunning of his heritage, Boyamond told the Emperor's men that the other Crusaders planned to assassinate them, causing them to return home. He then bribed a local garrison commander to open Antioch's gates, but only after he had secured the sworn promises of the other Crusader princes that the first among them to enter the city would rule it. Unfortunately for Boyomond and the Crusaders, a great Turkish army was on its way. Already worn down by eight long months of siege, Boyomond would need every ounce of his courage and his skill to survive. You almost lost because of Pathy on this mission? Let's see. Uh, Stepix donated 5 euro. Mr. Viper, will you take part in Deathmatch World Cup 4? Real proud on your Hidden Cup 4 performance. Awesome games. Keep going, Snake. My girlfriend sends best regards. Thank you, Stepix. I thank you very much. Send my best regards to your girlfriend as well. Uh, I will probably play in Deathmatch uh, World Cup 4, yeah, but I'm not sure how much time I will invest into training and such. If any, probably. It, it won't be high on my priority list. So, uh, the main objectives, defend Antioch until Alexios Komnenos arrives. Defeat Ahmed ibn Marwan's garrison. The secondary objective. I already see the minimap looks quite interesting. You have a population limit of 300. That's a change. You don't have that very often. Uh, and can research both castle and imperial age technologies. You will not be able to train new villagers, however. Oh, okay. There is a rhythm to siege. Use the breaks in fighting in the fighting to rebuild your defenses. Gather resources and improve your army for next assault. Okay, so we're gonna have like timed attacks, and we'll have some breathing uh, probably in between. The relics in the monasteries are your only source of gold. Stone can be found among the city's ancient ruins. So we have villagers, we 30 villagers I see. You cannot lose any of them. As the siege continues, you will run low on available resources. Use the market to trade for what you need, but know that price inflation is inevitable during a prolonged siege. By taking the citadel from Ahmed ibn Marwan, you gain access to resources in the southeastern hills. Okay, makes sense. Researching faith and finding the Holy Lands provides a one-time temporary bonus to all of your units. Use it wisely. Oh, so if we... Wait, so researching faith gives me some... One-time temporary bonus, though. So it's not a permanent bonus to units, it's just temporary. Or does all my... Okay, so... Do all my units that get this bonus have it permanently? I mean, it says temporary, but I don't see how they do that. Use it wisely, it says, though. Hmm. Bohemond uh, and the Crusaders have taken the ancient, ancient city of Antioch after a lengthy siege. They have found the city's stockpiles depleted. Unfortunately for the Crusaders, the Seljuk Turk warlord Kerboga 
has arrived with a massive army to retake the city. He has div divided his army into several wings surrounding the city's walls and six gates. It's a timer, okay. Gotcha. His armies will attack in repeating waves of mixed troops despite his strength. Uh, despite his strength, Kerboga is hesitant to press his advantage, as too many casualties may break his diverse army pulled from competing warlords. He will instead withdraw and reorganize for subsequent attacks on a predictable schedule. Because Kerboga arrived before the Crusaders could defeat the garrison entirely, Antioch's citadel in the east is still held by the Muslim garrison led by Abmant ibn Marwan. This force consists of Mamluks, Camelrys and archers, and is protected by a castle. While this garrison is unlikely to leave its position, making it less of a threat, it blocks access to additional resources in the hills behind the city. Finally, a relieving army led by the Byzantine Emperor Alexios Komnenos is rumored to be on its way, likely to claim the city for the empire. Bohemond is determined to push back the Turks before his old adversary arrives. More info in the hints tab. I have read all of this. There's nothing here I haven't read. All right. Let's get all my wills working. Or idle. Godfrey of Bullion. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of units everywhere. I'm gonna garrison archers in the towers for now. This is a little bit overwhelming. There's so many units. Oh, heroes. Bohemond. I wonder if they get stats from improving. Uh, okay, we have some relics there. Obviously, I don't get. Cannot produce villagers. Um. Oh boy, looks scary. We have more heroes here. Robert de Cortos. I'll put all my heroes together. There's another one. Robert of Flanders. <laughs> okay. No attacks yet. Eight minutes until the enemy attacks. Maybe I should take care of this. Let's uh, attack here. Probably makes sense. Get rid of this. I mean, we will get access to resources then, but... At the same time, I'm not really in dire need of resources yet. Normans. Baldwin of Hon Haino. They only have cast ledge upgrades as well, so it's not like they're too scary. The trebuchets. So far, so good, I guess. This is working the towers. I mean, we have still six and a half minutes until until uh, we get attacked. We have army there. They'll, I guess they'll cross all the bridge. What is this? Oh, this is the holy. Um, what was it called? I don't remember what it was called. I think it's the find the holy lands. Uh, probably not. Don't know where the whole lens is. Don't tell me. Don't tell me, chat. And I... What? Why can't you go there? Hello? Man, this might be the pathing issues we're having. Oh, go there. Yo, Baldwin. What you doing, mate? Alright. Safe. I think we prioritize upgrades for now. Uh, makes sense. We have so many units already. It makes sense to prioritize upgrades. And then after upgrades, we can uh, think about more as to what we want to produce. We do have Arbalest. So... Arbalest is an option. Four minutes. I mean, they're not, they're not actually coming back, coming out to fight me, and they don't have a big army. I think I have enough actually here to deal with this. 
Curious how strong their attacks will be. I know Faith is is the tech in the in the in the models here. Man, I see B Dog coming in with a massive donation here again. Four hundred and twenty euros and sixty nine cents. B Dog man, what you doing, dude? Do you think Burgundians, Sicilians will? I I deactivate sounds when I do campaigns and alerts, so I'm sorry that I didn't play now for you. 420 euros and 69 cents. Do you think Burgundian systems will ever be viable in Tourney? What tweaks do they need to be top tier? I think Burgundians already is a pretty decent... Um, how are my traps so inaccurate? Are you kidding me? I think Burgundians already are a decent pocket civilization. But 1v1 one one, they're very weak. Sicilians are... I think Sicilians aren't a terrible civ. They're just... They have very awkward faces. But for the most part, I think Sicilians is somewhat okay. But I also think both civs could benefit from slight changes. Um, as to what exactly, I'm not sure. I think the sergeants need to get some change. Maybe a slight buff. Or cost decrease, something. Man, the trips are so inaccurate. I, I cannot believe how inaccurate they are. There we go, that's a hit. Uh, what else? What tweaks do need to be top tier? I think they just need slight changes, maybe some eco bonuses. And Burgundians already have the access to eco bonuses early on, right? By the way, one minute until we're attacked. Man, I expected these traps to take out these walls so much faster. It's taking forever, man. Sicilians, I think, are somewhat fine. I think their sergeants just should be slightly uh, adjusted. Man, that has some range. Uh, thank you so much, Bidal, dude, for the massive donations today. You're insane, dude. Thank you so much. I'll try to focus on the campaign still, but it's a bit hard. <laughs> Let's just get all blacksmith upgrades. I wonder where we're going to be attacked from. Oh, do we get attacked from all angles at the same time? The heathen comes! Yeah, they're coming from here at first, it seems. They're taking a weird pa Oh, okay, okay, I see what it's like. Um, they have siege? I don't see siege. Let's do pikeman upgrade. Maybe I should not be worrying about attacking here. Although, they're just hitting the walls, right? We have fortified walls. This seems somewhat okay. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a little bit more spicy than I anticipated. Uh, for the most part, they're still just, just in quotes, hitting walls. So I'm not overly concerned as of yet. Oh, don't die! <sighs> And like, Green isn't actually fighting back. That helps a lot. Okay, this gate is actually going down. This seems to be the, f the first point there will. Ooh. Actually, I actually have Teutonic Knights. Sick. Okay, we have a castle there. I think we'll do a castle there as well. I think we're fairly safe for the time being. I'm not too worried. It's only up here where I would like to build some another castle. Because they're breaking through there. I also want to do Onager Tech. I think Onager Tech makes sense. I don't know why they're not they're, like, they're not fighting. No, I guess I don't mind. We should still be fine here. Let's we'll see if they fight back now, if I shoot with my traps. Okay. That's all it took. 90 kilo projectiles over 300 meters. That triggers them. 
Uh, we're not supposed to. Okay, that was not great. Alright, all good. Saw so someone wrote earlier, how many heroes do we think Viper loses? I have... How many heroes do we have? We have... Six heroes. I'm not gonna lose a single hero. I guarantee you. Yeah, where is this guy? Well, I guess I took this. Oh. Okay, uh, oops. Wait, you can probably just kill, destroy the palace size and you get old control of that area. That's pretty sick, actually. Okay, I have to check here. Uh, this seems fine. All good there. This seems fine. Oh, uh, <laughs> seemed fine. This seems okay. I'm gonna bring these because I want to repair this gate. Boom. Ooh. Let's get this actually. Extra range for our onagers will help a lot. Okay. Yeah, this seems fine. I mean, as long as there's no siege, I don't feel like too threatened. What is happening here? What? Where are you guys going? Go into our base. Put some onagers here. We should be fine. Oh, this is looking a little bit scary, actually. Let's do another dungeon. Get some onagers involved. What is... Oh, yeah, it's the whole thing when you switch control. Does that help? Dudes, come on. Okay. Okay, we're all good. Ah. Okay, seems good. We're fine here as well. We do outrange them, so I can just keep my arbalest shooting from the back. Get some onders there as well. And we're all fine. There's one minute until the attack ends. Okay. And you guys can go repair that. Guess I will repair this. Repair that. Okay, first attack wasn't overly scary. Man, come on, guys. Yeah, I hope they can fix that. That type of pathing issue is quite... Man, they can't even go through here, can they? Oh, these, uh, these pathing issues are annoying. Okay, um... This area has not been attacked yet. Let's go and check what this is. And we... Huh? Where's Faith? I don't have Faith. Am I supposed to maybe... Find something before I can research Faith? Yeah, little Faith. Exactly. I'm not sure. Because it was like a, a thing in combination with with uh, finding the holy lands or whatever it was. I should not have it. Let me check. Yeah, I don't have it. I find that confusing. I will wait until I have... I mean, I already have 200 military. This would have been a lot of gold. But we'll wait until we have even more. PC not available? Nope. In this scenario, you don't get town centers. We fight and die here while the Byzantine Emperor dawdles. Never forget this Byzantine treachery. We have units up there. Okay. 
Oh, I'm out of stone, actually. I want to go and try and open this. See if I can run in there. It has to be flagged there for a reason, right? But delete this. And just run there. <laughs> of course not. Can't pass. I cannot build a dock either. Feels bad, man. Okay. Man, this is so bugged with the pathing. Holy moly. Alright. Lock the bridge with goats. I don't want to cheese the mission like that. That feels very cheesy. Did I just trap these dudes? I did. Okay. Five minutes until the next attack. Public beta has the pathing fixed. Yeah, I'm not on that one, unfortunately. They believe us already dead. He knows we are alive, and he knows I command the city. He is a spiteful coward, leaving us to die in the sand. Coward. I don't really know if there's any other tech I want to do. Heavy scorps, maybe? Get some scorpions on, scorpions on the field. Yeah, that could make sense. Destroyed monastery. Pretty decent stats on most of these guys. Tank crit is not that strong. Whoa, Robert of Flanders is a beast. Holy cow. It's, okay, choose one of the following objectives. Defend on Antioch until Kerboga retreats. Kill Kerboga. We have options to... To attack or kill him. There he is. I think I know what I want to do. Let's get ready, boys. I'm actually quite low on gold. I say actually a lot, I realize. 1k health, by the way, does he? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, that's not too big. The armor isn't too great though. 15 attack, plus 2 plus 2 armor only. We can work with that. Yeah, I wish I had more builds. My lord should be tactical in choosing when to reveal this holy land. Uh, this holy land. Maybe it's meant to be used... Up <laughs> this pathing, man. Maybe it's meant to be used as you attack this 1000 HP dude. And that would make a lot of sense. Ah! You've got some heavy scorpions involved. Oh, that's locked. But I do, I do want to kind of attack him. Question is, how much do I need to leave behind to defend? That is the question. Let's see if I can bring those over there. If the pathing actually works. Here they come again. Oh boy, incoming. Faith, it's a thousand gold though. I don't really have that right now. Uh, maybe I just wait for this attack to end. <laughs> Let me defend this attack first, and then I'll think about attacking them. I think that makes more sense.
goes the mangonel. Oh, getting some good value there. A pair seems okay. Seems solid. We seem fine here. This is fine. Yeah, we're fine everywhere. Potential for 200 Arbalests. Why not send everything down there? Because I'm expecting... But I want to attack there. So it makes sense. What? Oh man, this pathing. Yo, you can enter there, okay? A lot of siege comes up here, but we have a castle, we have dungeons. We have uh, onagers, so we should be fine on that end. No helps, I should probably upgrade helps. You are right about that. Go there. I'm gonna check. I saw some lumberjacks. These guys are very inefficient. Six and a half minutes until the attack stops. They are spreading out. These guys look interesting. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's any danger anywhere. I think I can consider attacking already. Kit Boga. Kit Boga, yeah. Sounds like Kit Boga. Tanky ones. Absolutely tanky ones. Uh, hello? I don't know why that wouldn't be shooting. Yeah, I mean, as long as I don't have siege, it's not really that scary. I think this is where the Holy Grail is buried, by the way, for those wondering. I mean, it's been lit up, it has flags, it makes sense. Oh, that's a quite a big attack. This performance is starting to take a little bit of a hit. Alright, uh, it's starting to be a few attacks here now. This looks like we might they might actually break through there. I'm just gonna actually do that. Seems fine though, we seem fine here. Wait, do they also have the bug? Because they're not like it's open, right? But they're not coming through. Maybe because it's open here, they want to attack here. It somewhat feels like they also have the bug. Which kind of ruins the mission in that case. That's quite sad, actually. I just realized how much I'm saying actually right now. Yeah, well, we can't really do anything. We just have to do deal with what we got. So it's a fair bug. It does ruin the mission a little bit, though, doesn't it? So it's a bit of a shame. But okay. Scrutage is research. We have a lot of gold. Faith is not going to be a problem anymore. We have enough units to defend. One and a half more minutes. Don't really see any threat. These Teutonic Knights are beasts as well. We have monks to heal. They don't have the most amazing upgrades. It's a, it's a very good situation. Like when I attack as well, I'm, I think I might just use the... The Faith bonus that we're apparently gonna get. 
guys, let's go. Tax is about to end. <laughs> Come on, guys. Man. Hello guys. Okay, so this is um let me try this. I wanna see what happens. Because I'm about to attack into the Turks. I'm curious about the boost we're gonna get here. I don't wanna use it defensively, I wanna use it offensively. I think this should be the time to actually use it. Let's see. Dude, you're supposed to have blown off the attack. He has about to finish. Let's see what happens. All temporary, all units are. Whoa! Like plus six. Eh, it's not massive. I mean, the uh, HP boost is actually quite significant. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. I just wasted all my hubs. Right, look at this. Oh! Oh. Man, why do they have so many units? Stop having units! Ah, oh, shit! I should have just defended. Oh, why do they have so many units? What is this? Uh, I don't care about... What? I don't care about the heroes anymore. Wow, there are so many cab archers. And we are cleaning them up. We are getting fairly close to uh, Kitboga. But... What? How many cab archers do we have? Oh! How long is the bonus? Uh, seven minutes left. Okay. If we can get to Kitboga within these seven minutes... We should be fine. And we are getting very close. So that's the goal. And the pathing on my units is as good as always. Hope for that. I'm glad the heroes didn't have to be alive. <laughs> Yeah, he's very close right now. I'm also running out of units. This might not... We still have six minutes left with the bonus. Okay, guys, please join. I can probably... Because they won't attack all at the same time here. All right, it's close. He's right there, and we actually had units deciding to join. It's in the same screen. This holy lance effect is OP. Absolutely OP. And I think it's meant to do to attack Teal. You have to do it, right? Because he just has so many units. Yeah, there he is. Kitboga, time for you to go down. Man, this is one tanky guy. But he's down. We will carry it with us all the way to 
to Jerusalem. Oh, they're running. Okay, okay. I think that was success though, right? Yeah, I mean, it was four volleys with OP Arbalest as well. Keep that in mind. He had a thousand HP. Holy cow. When I click continue, I think we'll go straight to the, the next part. So let's see. Yeah. While Boyamon did not inherit his father's lands, he did inherit his attributes. And these won him a princedom. But Boyamon was not done after conquering Antioch. He sought every opportunity to conquer new lands. But his fearless aggression led him to being ambushed and captured by the Turks. His old enemy, the Emperor Alexios Komnenos, even offered to pay Boyamon's ransom if the Norman prince was brought to Constantinople in chains. Once again, Boyomon bested his old enemy, tricking his Turkish captors into releasing him for a smaller ransom. Years later, Boyomon again fought against the Emperor, but was surrounded by the Emperor's armies. He agreed to become a vassal of Emperor Alexios, but Boyomon's cunning had one last triumph. So that the treaty binding Boyamon to the Emperor would not include Antioch, Boyamon never again set foot in the city. He died in Sicily, leaving his son to succeed him in his hard-won Eastern princedom. All right. Let's go back to the map. Oh, there's a whole lot of desert around here. I mean, okay, there's a monster there as well. I guess this is, I mean, I don't know the Holy Lands. I guess it was just faith, right? They give you like some time. You don't have access to it, so you don't do it right away, right? Because then you just waste it. They want to wait until you have like the choice to make. There's a ton of units here for Teal. Holy macaroni. There's a proper surround right there. Getting like, getting like Lord of the Rings vibes. Minas Tirith, Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I mean, a bit of a shame with the pathing bug, right? Or the pathing issues. Otherwise, this could have been a really cool scenario to play. Pathing issues definitely leaving a sour taste in my mouth with that in mind. Uh, but yeah. Well, that was uh, Bohemond in the East. Thanks a lot for watching on YouTube. Uh, next up will be Wonder of the World. I'll see you all for that one. Ciao.